Game Freak is no stranger to changing the abilities of Pokemon from one generation to the next. We're all aware of Gengar losing Levitate in Gen 7. I miss you. <laughs> but what you may not know is that some abilities were never released before getting changed. Generation 5 introduced Dream World abilities, which we now refer to as hidden abilities. Some Pokemon never got access to their Dream World abilities before the generation ended. We could assume that this was for no reason in particular, but if we take a look at what was intended, we'll see that it could possibly be due to balance reasons. Let's take a look at these Pokemon's lost abilities. Let's just go from benign to dangerous, starting with Raikou. Actually, all the legendary beasts have their ability changed, so they're all going to be in this video. But Raikou was originally intended to have access to Volt Absorb. Honestly, this would have probably made it less viable than it is today. Volt Absorb would have made it immune to all electric moves and allow it to restore HP when hit by them. The only real advantage I'd see to running this today would be an immunity to opponent's Electroweb, which has become increasingly popular as a form of speed control. Today, Raikou actually has Inner Focus. While this ability makes it immune to Intimidate, the main benefit is making it immune to flinching, so Raikou has found a niche as a very reliable speed control dual screens Pokemon. It's actually pretty viable as an electric type today due to this niche. Next up is Entei, which was intended to have Flash Fire. This would have simply made it immune to all fire moves, while also boosting the power of its fire moves if it got hit by them. Once again, this isn't really all that great as Entei is certainly better with Inner Focus today. Unlike Raikou, Entei certainly benefits from being Intimidate immune, as Choice Banded Sacred Fire Entei is something pretty much no Pokemon wants to switch in on. It's arguably the most reliable damage dealer in the game today, being immune to Flinch, Intimidate, and Burn. The final of the beasts is Suicune, which would have had access to Water Absorb. While this ability would have been useful for switching in on rain teams and recovering HP on the face of them, it once again is better off with Inner Focus, which makes it one of the bulkiest and most reliable Tailwind setters in the game today. Okay, those were all pretty tame, but none of the words that I'm about to say are in the Bible. Shadow Tag Chandelure this ability would mean that no non-ghost type Pokemon would be able to switch out as long as Chandelure was on the field. Keep in mind that the only other Pokemon with access to this ability in the game today are Wobbuffet and Gothitelle. Neither of these Pokemon have that kind of damage output that Chandelure is capable of, nor do they have its speed. And 80 isn't too high of a speed stat, but Scarf Chandelure would have certainly been able to trap in a bad lead and annihilate it with Overheat coming off of its massive 145 special attack. It's a ghost type too, so it's not like any fake out counterplay would have been possible. While I think that not releasing this thing was probably the right choice, I do have a morbid curiosity to see how good it would have been. Okay, please find your nearest restroom as you may need to have it close by before hearing the words I'm about to say. Okay, ready? Lightning Rod Zapdos. Sorry, let me repeat that because you don't look disgusted enough. Lightning Rod Zapdos. Zapdos has already been a top tier in VGC in most formats it's been allowed in. Its 100 base speed combined with 125 special attack and great bulk makes it not only a heavy hitter, but a fast and bulky one too. This only became more apparent in Gen 8 as it gained access to Hurricane, meaning that both of its stab moves were high power moves that couldn't miss in the rain. It ended up gaining static as a hidden ability, which is honestly pretty good, but somewhere there's a timeline where Zapdos is not only immune to Regieleki Electroweb, but if it switched in on it, it would be able to sweep your whole team with plus one max airstream and max lightning, and it certainly would have been the best partner for Kyogre in restricted formats. But that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like in the video and subscribe to the channel as it all helps me grow more than you think. Also, a special thanks to my Patreon supporters who help keep the channel afloat. If you want to see your name at the end of these videos, please consider supporting me for as low as $1 a month on Patreon. And if you want some bonus videos each week, check out my $5 Patreon tier. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.